welcome back to my channel welcome to my third part of this entire video the most thing i was extremely excited about doing today so i'm going to be reviewing the maybelline superstay full coverage powder foundation that they just came out with so this is in the shade fair porcelain it claims to be 16 hour wear full coverage with long lasting matte finish lightweight and comfortable fade and transfer resistant controlled oil control shine i mean um when you open her up there's the powder and then whenever you open this up there is a small mirror in here and then a small sponge i don't really like Um, I don't really like those types of sponge. I'm going to be seeing how this applies on top of my foundation that I'm already wearing, which is my Maybelline Dewy Smooth Foundation. And I want to see if I can use this instead of using setting powder and see if this can bring any more full coverage to my look. So I'm going to be going in with my Color Nor CN159 foundation brush and swirl it in there. Oh, maybe that's a little too much. And basically pack her on. I mean, I don't like to wear powder foundations on its own. I like to set my already foundation on top of it. But, I mean, it's not really doing any much of a difference. I mean, my foundation already is decent coverage. But, let me see about my under eyes. really like the way it sits on my nose off the bat I am noticing I'm looking a lot more cakier if you must say and fair porcelain is actually not fair porcelain in their dewy so it's kind of lighter than my already foundation but it does look kind of cakey. It's looking kind of weird right here. Like separating a damp sponge and pat it in. So I'm gonna add my bronzer, blush, highlight, and see how it sits on top of it. I have finished the rest of my makeup. I can now see like how it forms on top of products. And honestly, I'm still kind of looking dewy on my chin. 
and it's looking kind of cakey around my nose and separating but it doesn't look that bad besides also the color kind of being a tad bit too light for me it did add some coverage to my under eyes and I like that overall I will keep testing it out and seeing how I like it but first impression um, I give it like a 7 out of 10 I mean it is totally worth trying it is very cheap and it could be a dupe for the Mac fix plus so if you have been interested in the Mac fix plus but don't want to spend about $30 on a powder then I would totally try to check this out and see if this would be for you for first impressions I give it a pass hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you guys in my next video